Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Mealy. I'm the 21st century STEAM teacher and CAPE teacher, and I can't wait to work with all of you online through remote learning this year. See you soon. Hello, my name is Mr. Tom. I will be working with your children at Mohawk School. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me through Class Dojo or through email. Uh, I'm looking forward to teaching art and STEAM. Hi, STEAMologists. This is Mrs. O'Connor. How are you? Hi, Mrs. Mealy. We're going to have a great day. You're going to be making your STEAM mystery box. I feel like a superhero out here in nature. It's one of my favorite places to be. I hope to see all of you soon. Take care. Hello, School District 163 families. I am Mrs. Ward. I'm the uh, STEAM teacher at Blackhawk, and I'll also be working with the CAPE teaching artists this year through the art classes. Uh, I would like to give you a little bit of information about the boxes that you're going to be receiving this week um, from the school district and also the materials that are going to be housed in these boxes. So I just went through and did a couple of trial runs with this box because it really challenged me a bit. So now that I've got this down, I think I can explain to you how I really put this together. So once you get the box part ready, um, Take a look at the letters. You see A here, you see B. When you flip it over, you see C and D. Um, so those are the, these are the pieces that we'll be folding right now to actually make this into a box. So I would suggest at first you kind of flip it over and open it up so it looks like a square or like a rectangle. So now that you have it opened up like a rectangle, you're going to take part A and fold it all the way into the box and fold it so that it's flat on the inside of the box. Once you have that done, um, might be helpful to have two people holding this, um, then you're going to take these outer flaps, which are D and B, and you fold them in so you have another flat piece like so. So you have D on the inside and you have C on the outside. Now take this flap again and fold it all the way into the box. Okay? This makes the bottom of the box actually, so you're going to stop at that point. So now you have D on the inside, uh, you might have the other one on the top, the, you might have B on the top, it doesn't matter. So now pull B out and fold B out so that they form the sides of the box. And you have some handles here, so you flip, well, actually don't flip the handles yet. So once you have the bottom of the box and you have the sides up, now you can take this original piece, A, and fold it down. So now you have a very sturdy box. Um, the bottom won't fall out because it's doubled at the bottom and plus you have handles for your box. So, um, now let me tell you a little bit about the materials that you get. Um, there are two bags of materials that you will have received by the time you have your box. So, let's on the bottom for a second. The first set of materials you received were the um, steam supplies. And if you got STEAM supplies that had a different school name than your home school, don't worry about it, it's no big deal. Um, all of the supply, supplies are exactly the same, no matter where you got the bag from. So inside that bag, you have the uh, superhero name packet, you have a little notebook, and you have some other random, um, oh, you have some other items. So let me just see what other items you have. Um, you should have some rubber bands. You should have a piece of yarn, which is six feet long. And then you have a piece of sidewalk chalk. Um, in the cape bag, and I'm, I'm not putting anything in the box yet because I think you should put some of the cape materials in first because they're bigger. But in the cape bag, everyone should have 
um, a pack of construction paper, which once you open this bag, you can start setting the materials into your box. Um, you should have some paper called newsprint paper. It's kind of thin, it's good for doing rubbings that we're gonna be doing with cake. Um, you have a composition notebook, and it says grade two. Don't worry about that, it doesn't matter. It's not really for grade two. It's for K3. You have a baggie, pack of crayons, tacky glue, which when you use this, you're gonna to have to have an adult to cut the, the tip off of here, um, because otherwise you can't get the glue out. Um, you have a glue stick, you have two pencils, two pencils and a pencil sharpener. So once you open all of these materials up, please put all of the materials in the box because, and you really, you can use these envelopes for whatever you want. Please recycle them. Um, so this box will be your CAPE and STEAM box. So whenever you come to CAPE or STEAM class on Schoology, you can bring this box with you. Um, Truthfully, this box would make a nice little desk if you're sitting on the floor. Um, you don't want to push too hard on it, but it's pretty sturdy for writing on if you need to. Um, and we will be using the lid to this box for an art project, so make sure you're not writing on the box at this point or inside of the box, because we're actually using this for part of our project later on in the semester. So I hope that this tutorial helps you to put the box together. Like I said, it took me a couple of trial and error kind of situations in order to get this put together. Um, but just if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact your child's STEAM teacher on Class Dojo. Um, you can also email us and we have Google Voice phone numbers. Now that you have your super STEAM cake uh, mystery box, your supply box, you will be prepared for every class this year. So please take care of the box, keep it in a safe place, and I can't wait to see you soon on Schoology.